Hey guys, it's Lindsay with the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and I'm going to show you seven quick steps to paint pre-primed paneling. Here is the installed shiplap paneling that I used. It has not been caulked or anything, it's just been put up. So the first thing you're going to do is prepare the surface. You're going to patch those nail holes, you're going to caulk the sides and the seams. You can see that seam right there. Um, so once you've caulked, once you've patched, you're going to use 150 grit sandpaper to sand the edges really well. Now you're going to use that tack cloth and that tack cloth is going to pull all of that extra dust and debris off. And then once you've used that tack cloth, go back with a uh, just a wet, damp washcloth and just wipe over the surface just to make sure it's good and clean. The next thing you're going to do is remove your electrical outlets. And the last thing you're going to do is put up your painter's tape. Once the painter's tape is up, it's time to paint. So pour your paint out and start with your angled brush or your two inch brush and start with the corners. You can see I'm working up and down through the grooves with my paintbrush. Now you're going to want to work in sections because you want to keep a wet edge on everything to prevent brush strokes. So once you've worked a small section with your paintbrush and you've gotten it in the grooves, you're going to grab your roller and you're going to roll that section. You're just going to roll over uh, what you've done with your paintbrush. And I'm using a fourth of an inch nap roller to get a really good smooth finish. Uh, you can use a foam roller too, that's great, but the fourth of an inch nap roller I think works fine too. And you're going to continue in this same pattern, just working section by section until you're done with your entire wall. After the first coat dried, I did apply a second coat 99% of the time. It's going to take at least two coats to look good. This is what it looks like after the second coat is dry. Uh, it looks really good. I love the paneling, love the way it looks. My only complaint about the paneling, if you can see the seams where the panels meet sometimes aren't super straight. And even when I try to put nails in the panels that aren't super straight, uh, if it's not in a stud, it's still going to kick out and give a little bit of a gap. Now at the top, you can see where I added a little bit of shoe molding, and that looked good. And I even angled the cut on the side to match the angle um, at the crown molding at the top. And then I just caulked along the edges. So here's the finished product. I'm super pleased with how it looks. I feel like it really brings in that cottage vibe. And even though I didn't paint it a bold color, I just love it. It's just subtle enough. And the shiplap panels just add enough texture just to really make this back wall pop. Here's a closer look at the paint job. I'm going to try to get real close here so you can see. I love how smooth it is. That fourth of an inch nap. Uh, really creates a really smooth finish and just with two coats I did not use primer since this was pre-primed but I do believe in sanding lightly just to give the paint something really good to stick to. Um, so overall really pleased with how it's turned out. I hope you've learned a few tips on how to paint pre-primed paneling. If you have any questions let me know and thanks for watching guys.